Definitely avoid this national park on bank holidays because it's crazy and make sure that you always have Zolochi or you purchase ticket for entrance online. Weirdly, Mark's feel, Mark feels lighter now to be carried. I don't know, maybe because he's more aware and he's kind of holding on. He's not just like, oh, like a big yeah, sack of potatoes on the back, but now feels much more lighter. But the, um, when we bought this, he was actually so small. He was, I think, seven months or something. He was so small that he couldn't look out of the backpack. So he was completely inside and he couldn't see anything. And now we look at him. It's totally yeah, one big head boy. above. Are we going to the plane? Yes. Are we going to hear Oh, We're going now to hike a little bit. But something worth mentioning. Avoid this place during bank holidays because it's crazy. And always have some zolotti and check if you can purchase tickets online because two times we tried on one place they didn't allow us to go in so yeah we are going to first day destination and then on monday the next one 40 minutes that way the start of this walk is literally a uh, souvenir shopping paradise so <laughs> if you're into souvenirs you have plenty of them here and restaurants as well i mean these fast food kind of little yeah. shops <laughs> Stairs with people, lots of them are favorite. Again, no luck with entering these uh, lo locations that we are planning to, to see. Yeah. This time they say that uh, there are no tickets available for this hour. I need to wait for something like half an hour, 40 minutes, but I don't know if we're gonna wait because people are just flocking in. Uh, they are coming from every other every direction. So I don't know if it was meant for us to... No, <sighs> to... obviously it wasn't meant to visit. We actually, I think in the area there are two ma major att attractions and we didn't see either of them. Mm -hmm. So Maybe on Monday we paid parking for no reason, like 20 zloty, which is like as well, 5 euro. That's okay. Yeah, so we're gonna... A bit disappointed, but... Mm -hmm. So we are going downward slowly and... Uh... I think tomorrow we're just gonna stick around in the camping because there's no point driving anywhere, it's just so crowded. Yeah, 1st of May, May is definitely no go for these national parks in uh, yep. Slavic lands. Yep. People are going in, people are going out, people are staying in one spot. We have no idea what's happening, but definitely not proceeding upwards and not trying again. We're gonna slowly descend and uh, start exploring other trails and use our time for taking pictures over there it's full with money now I understand
This is how he's waiting for his treat. Oh. Overall, this was my worst hiking experience ever. I mean, the area is definitely beautiful, and but we didn't have a wow moment at the end. And um, hopefully we didn't catch Corona in this crowd, <laughs> if, if Corona is still a thing. And uh, so definitely avoid national parks for bank holidays, especially for 1st of May in uh, the Slavic countries. Today is Saturday, tomorrow is actually 1st of May. And tomorrow we're gonna stick to our camp, not move an inch. And then on Monday, when everybody is back home, we can go on our hiking adventures, be all alone and take as much time as we need and enjoy this beautiful nature in uh, southern West Poland. Let's go home now. We are packing our bags and leaving Poland and Kapratkov because being here during uh, this uh, bank holiday is unbearable. So yeah, stopping here and then driving towards the Czech Republic to a camp that uh, we discussed with the owners. They said it's, they have a good Wi-Fi and it's pretty quiet. So yeah, we go there. We arrived at the best camp easily so far. Yeah. We are in the Czech Republic, 30 kilometers from the camp we were where we had a bad experience. I mean, it's a beautiful camp, not a bad experience, just uh, it's a bank holiday, so everybody is coming there and making a big mess. And again, second problem is, see, with, um, no, with actually this one here, somehow it fell and uh, it was eaten by the asphalt when it was dragging. So I had to slice up a little chunk of it and to plug it back. Uh, so let's see if it's gonna work and then before I find a, another caravan shop I will need to use this and I will kind of make it stable with uh, cable ties thanks to my to a subscriber from YouTube he gave me that term so yeah let's see if it works so it can go in let's see I will reverse a little bit and plug to see if the indicators are working They're working. Perfectly. Edo, come to see if my indicators work. Let's just see, see if the indicators work. Whoa, almost stripped. Working? Wait. Perfect. I can demand for caravans. Just, let me just quickly show you where we are and how pretty this place is. And then I can start with the dinner. Well, uh, we are done. And hopefully that this camp will be the best and we're gonna stay longer here because it's beautiful, it's peaceful. <sighs> we arrived today at this really really nice campsite owned by Dutch people and there is a um, washer so I can finally do laundry. So here we go, perfect, look at this. Can even do some hand washing. There's the machine. There are several dryers that you can borrow. So even cleaning supplies. So perfect, just like home. And this is called Eco Egg, and it's like just like a plastic egg. It has inside some crystals, and um, yeah, it's great for camping for this kind of 
trips because it takes up very little space. You just throw it in the laundry and then ready to go. Hey, it's a bagnage? Get in, get in. Even though it's still daylight, we are off to bed.